All right. Hi, Irons. I didn't realize that. But I have some of those in the trailer. I didn't know that's what that was called. They are called pie irons. Um, Joyce got one that's round. And, of course, she's not here, so I can't show you that one. Oh, yeah, sir. You can make s'more. You can make s'mores. You can make sandwiches. You can make hobo dinners. You gave us recipes. Yes, I gave you guys recipes. And nice big type. I love that. <laughs> That's the way it came off the computer. I had no control of the type. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> yeah, it was the man upstairs that granted you the big, large print. Um, I've got four. I've got four. I bought two new ones. Um, these are the oldest, and you can tell they are pretty worn out, pretty worn. You can get them in cast iron or aluminum. All four of mine are cast iron. I go for cast iron. I don't like aluminum. Mine are cast iron. Uh, cast iron's easier to take care of than the aluminum. <laughs> and uh, the mineral instead of a yeah. Gold. Um, I didn't realize <laughs> when when I cooked my grilled cheese sandwich in the one of them the last time that these weren't fully cleaned out. Girl Scouts did not do a good job in cleaning out my pie irons. <laughs> um, we have used these at Girl Scout camp. We uh, we used the crap out of them. We uh, they in the dining hall. They have a nice big fireplace. We have gotten that fire hot enough. Everything is total ash. There are no charcoal chunks in there. And you can put a sandwich in one of these, bury it in those coals, and in two, depending upon what you did, two to five minutes later, you pull it out, and it's done. It does cook faster, especially if you can bury it in the coals. Um, I've done grilled cheese sandwiches. We've done pizza pockets. You could do Philly steak cheese sandwiches. Um, Does that make a mess with cheese? No, because you want to keep everything with, you don't want anything sticking out. Yeah. You want everything in. Yeah, melting, you know. I did the grilled cheese sandwich and did fine. As long as it's within that square and not hanging out, you don't have a problem. Uh, the square ones are the only ones you can get doubled. I've not seen the double circle. I've only seen the double square. Ours are circle. Yeah, you can do them circle. In fact, uh, well, tonight I'm doing Frito pie for my dinner, but tomorrow I'm doing chicken fajita quesadillas I and the pie irons. Fritos with Frito pie. You want to do this? That's what I'm planning on. So, yeah, okay. Sandy and I have discussed, you know, hey, because I go, when are we having the chili cook off? She goes, why? Because uh, I'm planning my menu and the day after I'm doing Frito pie. I copy. Oh, that's a little. You have Fritos? I have chili. Okay, bring, I don't, yeah, bring the cheese. I've got the chili and Fritos. Thank you. I got all of it. I got the cheese, the Fritos. I got chili cheese, Fritos, and chili. There you go. But I always make sure that these, are, and these are, they usually say that they're pre-seasoned. How much do they cost? Depending upon if it's the single or the double, um, Anywhere, I think, well, back when I got, th these were $15 back when I got them. And I forgot how much that one was when I got it this time. These are going to be a little bit more expensive. So you're looking at anywhere between $15 to $30, depending upon where you get them. Um, th these two are Ozark. The the two new ones are uh, Koglins. But I made sure it was cast iron before I got them. I didn't want anything that was not cast iron. Do you get them at like Bass Pro, Walmart? I got these, all four of these were gotten at Walmart. And like I said, this was the first time they had the double. Yeah, I I hit the camping section on a regular basis. <laughs> yeah, I did too, actually. I did too. I and to see what th a lot of times they've actually been sold out of them. That's probably the but they've never had, I have never found the round ones in a store locally. You can get them. You can get the round ones on Amazon. Okay. I have seen them on Amazon, but Academy carries them. Um, uh, at one, uh, what used to be Gander Mountain carried them. I think uh, Camping World carries them. So any any place that does a lot of is involving camping, you can do it. 
These things are extremely versatile. Not only can you use them in the uh, campfire, you can use a grill. You can use a grill to cook on cook with. Oh, you mean like a camp grill, like they the iron, like those things. Uh huh. You can use those, or I got a propane grill. I can use it on that. Probably use my regular grill at home. Your regular grill at home. Um, you can use the top of your stove with the flame on. If you've got gas, Duh, that's you can use the flame. But if you have gas, yeah, you can do. You can use. You can, you can do it. You just have to flip them. Yeah. Whereas in a campfire, you can either cook it on the grate like we have here, or you're, like when I did my grilled cheese, I kind of, I tried to bury it in the coals, but it was a, there wasn't enough coals to bury it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but I was able to get it done. Um, but you can cook anything. You can cook sandwiches. You can cook pies. I could not find the recipe to print off. I lost the recipe. I was going to print it off. But you can also do s'mores in these. There was a way to do the s'mores, and I wanted to print off that recipe. Because you can do... Uh, in fact, there, you could also look up pudgy pies. That's also what? different. Pudgy. Pudgy, I don't know that range. I didn't know, I didn't know that until I was researching out. In fact, I think one of these, you can even do your breakfast. You can do your omelets in there. You can cook a biscuit. You can cook a cinnamon roll. You could cook a cookie. When you cook the cookies, you cook them, you cook it open-faced. Bake little cakes in there. Yeah, uh, I've got about anything, I guess. Yeah, no, you got a recipe for uh, peanut butter and jam, which you can do toasted peanut butter and jam sandwich, uh, cinnamon buns. There's had to do French toast in here in your recipes. Uh, it's called Cherry Mountain Pie Recipe or a pie iron cherry pies. Okay. Uh, and it uses cream cheese, which I actually brought the stuff. Then you got a hobo egg and sausage breakfast sandwich. Of course, you could do turkey sausage. Um, pudgy pie tasty tacos. You can make tacos in here. You can make quesadillas, do the pizza. I got stuff to make pizza. Yes. Yeah, you can do, like I said, you can do it on on a campfire. You can do it in the I fireplace. Breakfast at Hobo Sausage and Breakfast Sandwich. I thought we could do that. Uh-huh. Yeah. I brought the stuff to make one of those too. You can do uh I don't know if you know about the omelet and the uh the birds the uh, bird's nest egg, which is the yeah, hash browns and the egg. You can do that in this and in, in these. But you can do it on the campfire, a fireplace, which I've done both of those. I haven't done the grill yet, and you can do it either the propane grill, the charcoal grill, whichever grill. You can even do it on the stove top with a flame. You can use these things. These are so versatile. Where'd you get this one from, Tim? Uh, Walmart actually ended up with them. It's a double? It's a double. I've seen the, I've seen the singles at Walmart. But... You can cook hamburger meat in it. You can, I mean. You run at the same time. Well, I didn't know about these things at all either. At least you had them. <laughs> I do have you may have to use your done touch and knowing take some more. That's some tremendous stuff right there. Yeah. Um, be cooking differently next time. Do but these, together. you know, they're a little bit different. You can get them around. The round ones do not come doubled. I have not seen a double round one. I've only seen the double square. It's it's just so so versatile. And you yes. can do two at once. You can do a biscuit on one side and your eggs on the other. Does it write that stuff on top of your bread? And diet no, that's just, just on the outside. On the outside. <laughs> yeah, that's just on the outside. And they do come apart. Wow. Make it easier to clean. Uh-oh. Can you just put them in the fire to clean them? You have to, you have to manipulate it. <laughs> yeah, you have to manipulate it. So, And I I didn't get it printed off. I've had limited time, and I was doing some of this stuff at my work. But they had it where they actually had, they took those cookies, the cookie dough, they took it, stuck a cookie on there, and set it on top of the campfire, and mm -hmm. baked the cookie. It was you can use these to do uh, s'mores. There. It was all in the 
and I couldn't find that recipe. <laughs> it's like, ah. But so we can figure out how to do it without a recipe. Uh huh. Well, there's some stuff I didn't even have recipes. I mean, grilled cheese sandwich, the pizza yeah. pockets, or it's not necessarily, I call it pizza pockets, but they did pocket sandwiches at Girl Scouts. You know, you have your slice of bread, you butter it on one side and butter on the other. You, for the other side, you have the butter on the outside, just like you would a regular grilled cheese sandwich. But you would put, for the pizza, you would put their pizza sauce, your cheese, and whatever toppings you want on it and put it together. There's your pizza pocket. You can put your your sandwich meat. You can do a hot a hot sandwich, a grilled hot sandwich. You know, what I did. Did you do a grilled cheese last night? Yeah. The first night I was here, yeah. I did grilled cheese. You can do a bacon grilled cheese. You cook your turkey bacon up ahead of time and then put it on there. Mm -hmm. And then stick it in there. And it, did, it didn't. Andy was over there when I was cooking it, and it didn't take long at all, did it? Oh, <laughs> yeah. it was maybe two, three minutes on one yeah. side, two, three minutes on the other. Yeah, you got to be careful. You can burn. I would imagine that once that once that cast iron gets hot, that it's gonna it's safe turn for a lot of heat. they will just keep cooking after you know. Oh yeah. oh yeah, it does. That's why when I was done, I immediately took it over here to this table, the with the the metal table. Yeah. And I opened it up, and I immediately got it out because it will continue cooking. Yeah. And it—I mean, you could cut your meal cook time. And clean up is easy. That's win-win to me. Yeah. It's like I'm actually—I've got one night I'm going to do a chicken hobo dinner, and another night I'm going to do a beef a hamburger patty hobo dinner, and I'm going to try to do it in these. The Website I got these recipes off of, uh, some of these recipes off of, the RV, Seeking the RV Life. Um, this one says homemade feather. Yeah. Well, I got them from several different ones. Toasty recipes or toasted toasty recipes. recipes. Yeah. There's a Seeking RV Life. The lady said that there was, I guess you, you could get those Sorry, little right. aluminum pie pans. She said that she uses in these to help even more with the cleanup to cook some of the stuff. But I've got aluminum foil, so I'm going to try to get it where it fits these pie irons to do the hobo dinner. I may have to cut my chicken down a little, and which is where the double one's going to come in handy. <laughs> yeah. No, we've used these at Girl Scouts, in the Girl Scouts. When you've got 15, 20 girls, and you're doing some kind of sandwich, I've got my two. I forgot how many I got. This cuts down the cooking time for doing a hot sandwich or a hot meal for the girls. And it's something that they all get to experience. And when you're working on merit badges, they get to cook over an open fire, even though it's in a fireplace, because we've had to do the fireplace because of bird bands. But yeah, these things, when you go to research out, they are so versatile. And it's worth putting in a bug out bag. Oh, that'd be so heavy in a bug out bag. Wouldn't it would be, but... Look at how much you can do with it. And it's mm. and the cleanup is so much easier. Well, and even if all you have is you don't have quality wood to cook over, you can still cook over that because it's not gonna it's not gonna yeah. offer for like a lot of flavor, so if all you got so Yeah, it's that you know, good, point. good point. You know, cotton wood or whatever kind of wood you have to have oak and a speed or yeah, you don't have to have the good stuff. You can have whatever's in the rim. Cast iron, if you throw it on the fire, you can get a lot of that yeah. flavor transfer. You get a lot of it. Yeah, it comes apart so you can, for easier clean, and which makes it even more versatile if you have to do an open face versus closed face. Is that REI's logo? No, nope, that's, that's Ozark. Ozark, okay. Ozark Trail. Mm hmm. Okay. Those were the first ones I bought. Pretty cool. And you know, they're both square, but they're slightly different because mm. it's different brands. Mm -hmm. And you can get the round ones, I just haven't run across them in town. I can get them if, if I really, really, really wanted to. I can order them off of Amazon. And a lot of people don't think, think of this, they see them, but they don't think they're useful or 
They don't think what you can use them for. They're, they're like me when they're looking at them. It's like, I, I don't get it. Yes, but so okay. I need somebody to teach me. Yeah. Perfect. So we've used I'm them. gonna get a tripod though. Oh, like yeah. Tripod. Yeah. To go yeah. over the campfire. Yeah. Your tripod. Yeah. That's what I want. And then you gotta see them in. Learn to focus. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I haven't been able to do that, but that's on my wish list too. Our area is so humid. It's it's hard to start a fire, but it's easy to put it out. <laughs> yeah. These are so and it, it Use a square, you can use the round, it doesn't matter. The recipes, you can you just adjust to the yeah. shape, but you don't want anything sticking out. You want to trim right. these, are highly versatile. You can cook any and every meal, yeah. And they're tough and they'll last forever as long as you give them taken care of. That's said, iron, last time, highly, highly versatile and the most overlooked tool.